What's going on guys, my name is Brendan and today we're gonna to be talking about these magnetic filters and how the system might be useful for you. Now when I first heard about these filters, I actually had no idea magnetic filters even existed, nor did it ever cross my mind for those to be a thing. Now that I actually have my hands on a set of these magnetic filters, all I can say is that it makes life an absolute breeze when you're wanting to change filters. This magnetic filter system by Freewell comes in two separate pieces. There's the actual filter that obviously clicks onto the front of your lens, but the piece that's a magnet screws into the front element here, and you can keep it on there permanently and it doesn't get in the way of any of your photos. The obvious huge advantage to magnetic filters is that you can swap on and off a filter in just a couple of seconds and you don't have to do any of the messing around with screwing something on and off of the front of your lens. This is super awesome in the cases where you're in a time crunch or even in cold conditions where you don't wanna take off your glove to unscrew your filter. Now the big bonus about this filter system by Freewell is that all of these magnetic filters, even though they are magnetic, they also have a threaded ring on the outside of each filter. You can still go ahead and use your regular screw-in filters with this magnetic filter system by Freewell. So the two magnetic filters that we'll be discussing today are the Polarizer and the 10-stop ND. Now for this 10-stop ND, we're gonna compare it against one of my most used 10-stop NDs that's around the same price as this one. It's the Nisi 10-stop ND. Both of these filters are around $100, so I'm gonna see how both of them compare to each other and if this magnetic filter system actually makes any difference to me. order one of these packages it's gonna come in a box that looks very similar to an Apple product or something like that it's a really nice quality packaging so since these are both exactly the same we're just gonna go and unbox one of these filters if I just open it up it comes with a nice little free well package in here and inside of this package there's a few goodies that you can use for your filter and some stickers and stuff like that so opening this up there's another envelope inside and so it comes with a card that you can scan the code of and it has a bunch of tutorials for how to shoot with the filter and different camera settings if you're unfamiliar with that kind of stuff. It comes with a lifetime warranty which is awesome because some of you are probably not super gentle with your filters. And it's got some cool stickers if you want to do something with those. And then it also comes with a wipe so you can keep your filters clean and all that stuff out in the field. Additionally, it comes with a filter guide and inside of this it just talks about a few other filters that they have. It's not really anything too useful in my opinion, but it's there if you're interested. So now of course nobody cares what's in the box. We care about what's in this package here. We're talking about the filter. So the filter actually comes, compared to other filter brands, I think that it comes in a really nice packaging. It comes with a nice little plastic thing to keep your plastic cover nice and shiny. Take that off, ooh. The case has a couple of magnetic points that keep it shut together. It's actually super secure. I can shake it around and it does not come out. So if you're kind of concerned about, oh, it doesn't have a clip or something like that, these magnets are super strong. When we open up the case and get access to our filter, we can see a little bit more about what's going on and what makes this filter a little bit more unique than others on the market. So immediately this filter looks exactly the same as any other circular polarizer or ND filter, whatever you want that's on the market right now. The difference with this filter though is that it has two filters attached in one. So if I pull this apart, it's just magnets holding them together. This one here is the filter. This one here is a UV filter. It's clear, it has no effect. The only thing that this is doing is a magnet to hold this filter onto your camera. So it just clicks together that easily. This magnet feature is a huge advantage when you're wanting to speed up the whole process of changing filters, and especially when the light is fading, that kind of stuff. These magnets would definitely come in handy. Now, moving on to this little piece here, I actually wasn't sure what it was when I first was looking at it. I thought it was sort of some kind of decoration, but it's actually a lens cap because with these filters, whether you keep this polarizer, ND filter, whatever, on your camera, or you're just using the UV filter, you can't use your native lens cap with this setup. So that's what this comes in for. This little piece here works as a lens cap that also just magnetically snaps on to either the filter or the UV filter, just to protect everything and the front element of your lens, since your native lens cap, again, will not fit with these filters on the front of your lens element. 
So now let's go check out these two filters together out in the field and see if they're actually worth your money. So to decide whether this filter is actually worthwhile or not, I'm gonna compare it to my other filters that I constantly use by Nisi, which are another circular 10-stop ND filter. So I came out here to Cascade Falls to test this out. So the photo you're looking at right now was taken with my 10-stop ND by Nisi, which has a little bit of a purple color cast. Now comparing that to the Freewell 10-stop ND, you notice it has a green color cast, and then now comparing that to no filters at all, it becomes a little bit more obvious. So here's Nisi to no filter, and here's Freewell to no filter. The color cast in each filter is quite obvious compared to no filtration at all, but all of this is easily fixed with some post-processing. Now that we've gone and tested these two ND filters and we know that the Freewell has a little bit of a green color cast, let's go and test this polarizer out. So the thing with these magnetic filters is I was kind of nervous of how strong these actual magnets are. Would I have any issues of accidentally bumping off my filter, having it roll off a cliff and I never see it again? So I wanted to put those fears to bed and I did that by taking this filter rock climbing with me. Now over the entire day of climbing, I was taking photos constantly with this polarizer and I never had any issues or worry about it popping off. These magnets are actually a lot stronger than you might assume and even just trying to pull these two filters apart right now is actually quite difficult. The other great thing about this filter is since it is in two pieces, I could rotate this polarizer with no worries of accidentally unthreading the filter and dropping it off a cliff. So after climbing all day with this polarizer, it did exactly what it was supposed to do, which is cut the highlights and make the colors in my photos look a little bit more vibrant. This polarizer also made a massive difference to balance the exposure between the shadows and the highlights. And since we're in that super contrasty midday light almost the entire day, this polarizer really made all of the difference. Now it all comes down to one big question, and that is, are these magnetic filters actually worthwhile? After testing both of these filters out in two totally different situations, I found that having the luxury to just pull a filter on and slap another one on in a couple of seconds made a huge difference. Just because I was curious, I did a side-by-side -side comparison to see how long it actually took me to screw on a regular filter versus change a magnetic filter. Now the other plus of these filters is they're both really great quality, but they're not that expensive. So if you're in the market for a filter that's relatively affordable, these filters could be a great option for you. Now the cons to each of these filters is of course they have a little bit of a green color cast that isn't maybe the most flattering, but you can get rid of that quite easily in post with just a couple of basic color correction adjustments. Now the other downside to these filters is for some people they may not be wanting these two filters and especially not having a clear UV filter. But they will be coming out with another version that does not have a clear UV filter and it's just the magnetic ring. Personally I found this UV filter to be really awesome to have especially when I was climbing and my camera was getting bumped by gear all day. I didn't have any worries about my actual lens getting scratched because I could just get this dinged up instead. Now I understand that's probably a weird way to look at this but that's why I enjoyed this UV filter, but if you hate it, they are gonna be coming out with another edition soon. Now, if you're wanting to learn a little bit more about this magnetic filter system by Freewell, I wrote a blog post all about it on bewillcreative.com, or I have a few more example photos and I dive a little deeper about my experiences with these filters. So now I'm gonna pass the question off to you. What do you think of magnetic filter systems? Do you think that they're totally a waste of time or do you think they're kind of cool? Let me know down in the comments below and I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. I hope you enjoyed this review and unboxing of the magnetic quick swap filter system by Freewell. Again, my name is Brendan from bewellcreative.com and I'll catch you back here next time for another video. See you then.